Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to combine different line segments into a single polyline or a single polygon, depending on the situation. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do it using the pedit command, which is the polyline or pline edit command. Uh, so here we've got a little line diagram that is uh, made up of about seven individual line segments. Each of these is alone and by itself. They're not connected in any way. I'm going to show you how to connect them into a single line segment. So we're going to bring up the pedit command, which is P-E-D-I-T, and hit enter. And it's going to ask you to select your polyline. In this case, we're going to hit M for multiple, and that's so you can select more than one polyline. Hit enter, and now we're going to select all of the lines we'd like to join. I'm going to hit enter again, and it's going to ask if we'd like to convert these to polylines. We're going to leave it as the default yes, and hit enter. And then we're going to hit the J command to join them. J enter, and for fuzz distance, this is the distance between two points. If there's a bit of a gap, how far it should draw a line to combine them. Um, I'm going to change that to zero because I want to only combine lines that are touching. And I'm going to hit enter, and as you can see down here, six segments were added to the polyline. If you hit enter again, you're going to end the command, and now you can select this, and it's one single polyline all joined. So you can see if I move one node now, the corner moves. Whereas before, only this one or this one, which whatever one I had selected would have moved. So now this is uh, combined. To break it back apart, you can use the explode command. That's E-X-P-L-O-D-E. -E. You select your object and hit enter. And there you go. Your lines are split up again. And remember, to draw a line, it's L, enter. So you can draw one from here to there to there. And then hit enter. And there you've got two more. That's the L for line, or up on the top, under the home menu. It's right here, uh, under line. All right, so the next example is to create a polygon, which would be a closed polyline. All right, now we're on our second example. We're going to take these separate polyline segments and we're going to combine them into a polygon, which is a closed polyline. So to do that, we're going to type in pedit again. Select M for multiple. We're going to select all of these. Hit enter. And then we're going to ask it to join once again, so that's J. And we're going to enter a fuzz distance of 25, which will give us enough to close this distance here. So that means it'll close the gaps less than 25 units. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to hit C for close, just to be sure. And then enter again. So as you can see, the gap is closed, and it's all connected into one single polygon. Now to undo that, you can hit the U command to undo, or to break apart an existing polygon, you can use the explode command. As we showed before, select it and hit enter. And there we go. It's all broken apart, but the line segment is still there that we added in. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to check out the website, betteratEverything.info, and subscribe to my mailing list or the YouTube channel. Thanks again. Cheers.